All right, Math Tens, this next problem involves uh, what we call a granary. Uh, this shape here is so that, uh, kind of a cylinder base with a cone on top and some dimensions are given. Um, and we're given two parts of a question. One is saying that if a loaded truck contains 40 cubic meters of grain, how many truckloads are going to fit in that bin? And the second question is if aluminum costs $2.50 a square meter, what will the bin cost, assuming there's no floor? So hopefully you see one of these as a volume question, the first one, and the second one as a surface area related question. Um, and so the first one I believe is simpler, uh, mainly because the volume in total is just going to be the total volume of a cylinder added to a cone. I don't need to worry about any anything more complicated than that. Um, they have the same radius, but do be careful, they don't have the same height. And so I put a little notation there, the height of the cylinder, the height of the cone. And so then it's just crunching numbers, pi times 3.5 squared times six for the volume of the cylinder. Uh, one third pi times 3.5 squared times two for the volume of the much smaller cone. And I find 230.91 cubic meters plus 25.66 cubic meters gives me a total volume of just under 257 cubic meters. Remember that we were actually asked about truckloads of grain. So we do have a step further than that. And that is to say, okay, well, each one truckload of grain contains uh, 40 cubic meters. So 256.57 divided by 40. And we can fit about 6.4 truckloads into that granary. So certainly not seven, um, six complete truckloads and then a bit more. Okay, the second part of this question is about surface area. Now the surface area question is a bit trickier because we don't have an entire cone and an entire cylinder to look at. Like those are the formulas you have on your formula sheet. Surface area of a cone has a base circle and then the lateral kind of slanted parts. And a surface area of a cylinder generally has a top and bottom circle and then the rounded part around the outside. The truth is we don't have any of those circles. The base on the bottom, we're told not to include the floor. And clearly that cylinder has no top and the pyramid or sorry the, the cone has no base to it so the surface area of our particular shape is just the pi rs part the lateral part surface area of a cone added to the lateral surface area of the cylinder the 2 pi rh um, now we have a little bit of work to do in that we weren't given the slant height of that cone um, so in earlier examples, we've done little Pythagoras to, to find that. And so I did that here. 2 squared plus 3.5 squared gives you S squared. And so you square root and you get about 4 meters. In fact, 4.03 meters for the slant height of that cone. So when I go over to the calculation, I have pi RS for the cone piece 2 pi rh for the cylinder piece. I add them together, I get 176.3 square meters. Now remember this was about cost, and so we do have one step further, which is a fairly easy step just to take that and say, well, each one of those square meters cost me 250. And so the total granary here would cost us $440 and about 67 cents. Um, you know, you, you clearly we did a little bit of rounding as we went along. I tried to keep some extra digits. Um, I don't think the extra penny or two would make the difference, but the idea here is that you find the surface area and multiply it by $2.50 per square meter.